How's everybody doing? This is Diamond, the naked beekeeper from the Oppenheimer Ranch Project. We ain't gonna be using this for beekeeping today, but we are gonna be putting on this pollen trap. Before we do that, uh, we're gonna do a video today on the honey flow. So we're gonna go look into the hive. It's late in the season, see how the honey flow is. And we're also gonna be putting uh, syrup in the hive top feeder. So I'm just gonna calm my ladies down with a little puff. I don't like to use a lot of smoke because I don't want the bees to really think there's a fire. So I just use a little touch. Give them a second to communicate. And there's a lot of bees up in the hive, in the, in the feeder. So I'm gonna be pretty gentle with them. What I got on here is a Ross Round Honey Super. I just put that on there. And I have a hive top feeder here because it really helps them get that Ross Round filled. Um, but we're going to take the whole unit off because I just put this honey super here about a week ago. And because we want to do a video on the real flow, it's down in this box. So let's go take a look. Here we are in the upper brood box. And I'm just going to let you, uh, I'm going to smoke these bees maybe just a little bit. But I really am not worried about my bees. These are Italians and they're quite nice, kind of like me. And I want to show you some of the honey. So you can look at here the capped uh, the capped upper section is where the bees have made it the right humidity to cap it up for the winter, so that it'll store good and they can eat it. And if you look on this side here, you see some of those dark areas. Those are some of the pollen patches where they're st storing a little bit of protein in case they need a little snack. But if I just take one or two of these this year so that I can eat it, I don't think the bees will be too unhappy. We haven't done a mite count on this hive uh, because we're, uh, for a number of reasons, we're not medicating and we don't care because what we want is only bees that can outlive all the bees that are dying. So we're trying to raise genetics that are uh, capable of withstanding their, their own uh, ravages of this colony collapse disorder. But because this particular ranch is nowhere near uh, pesticides or agriculture, commercial agriculture, we really don't have any impacts of uh, pesticides on our bees, it seems. So with that being said, I hope you enjoy the Nectar Flow show, and we're going to get back to fixing the hive. Thanks for joining us.